online view allows you to plan earth science topics in a systematic manner to reorient your thinking about an English course to rearrange entire sections with a few clicks of a button even when images and links are present and finally to generate an automatic table of contents to begin open a new document then click view outline type the highest level topic heading one then press enter or return on the keyboard. You are automatically returned to the same level of heading. Press tab or click the right pointing arrow to indent one level. Continue using the same technique to add headings to the same or lower levels. To return to a higher level, press shift tab or the left pointing arrow. To add content, click the double arrows and type the text. Let the outline view help you during this development phase. For example, by clicking the outline's numerical heading, First, hiding the text, then hiding the lower levels, lets you inspect your work for its organization. Having created the basic structure of your work in the outline view, it may be easiest to return to the print layout to add the bulk of the body text, as well as to insert any images or to create any drawings. After completing your document, should you decide to rearrange your work, return to the outline view, collapse the highest level that contains the information to be moved, Click the plus sign for the item itself that you want to move. Then click the up or the down arrow as necessary to move the section. One way to now inspect the rearranged information, including any images or drawings, is by clicking View, Print Layout. Observe how the rock formation data now comes before the phases of the moon. Finally, if you have used heading level styles, such as when creating headings in the outline view, you can quickly generate a table of contents. On the keyboard, press Control plus Home to move quickly to the top of the document. Click Insert, Break, Page Break to add a new top page. Click Control plus Home to move to the top of the document and into the new page. Click Insert, Index and Table. In the dialog box, click the Table of Contents tab. If desired, select another template, observing its style in the preview window. Also, if desired, click to change the number of heading levels that appear in the Table of Contents. When satisfied, click OK. The table of contents automatically appears. Should you need to update the table because titles have changed or new information has been added, repeat the insert table of contents process. Never make changes to the table headings themselves. You will find that Microsoft can simplify your management of large documents.